Ciao a tutti! Let's go shopping! We're going to take you to one of probably three or four supermarkets that we frequent in the area. And this one is probably on the lower end, not only for prices, but also for quality. But there are some products that are pretty good. To understand the pricing that you're going to see, remember, most of the prices for meat, poultry, vegetables, fruit, those are in kilos, 2.2 pounds each, not one pound. Let's go shopping. Gigi, io vado da Eurospin a fare la spesa. And here's the fruit and vegetable section. Something very new and very exciting that they have the blueberries for $5.99 a pound. Now that's a product that in the past has been pretty difficult to find. And here's some more fruits and vegetables. Pepperoni, pomodoro, zucchini. You know, I much prefer supporting the local farmers, but every once in a while we'll come over here. Walnuts are very big during the winter. They're $40.99 a kilo. Now $1.49 a kilo for eggplant is Pretty good price as well. This is a bag of arugula for 99 cents. When I was home, we'd get a box of arugula, arugula for like $4.99 a box. So this place has some pretty good deals. Pretty good selection of lupini and olives, sun-dried tomatoes. So can get pretty much everything here. Now this is sort of a new thing that they have the ready-made soups. Risonero, black rice, cachofi, artichokes, and beets. Yum. Well, I don't know, I think it's a little bit early but for sure, our farmer, Peter Scapoletti, will tell us. So it's been a little bit chilly at night. During the day, it's been 65-ish, right? What do you think? Is it too early to start planting these? Oh, that's my favorite right there. Sunflowers are by far my favorite flowers. All types of potatoes. The potatoes from Siracusa are the best. All right, let's look. Between one and five dollars, different sizes. Here's the organic section. Not a big fan of juice like this, but they've got a pretty big collection. Pretty good bread selection. Booze. Knockoffs, though. What do you think? Nice knockoff. Blended American whiskey, aged three years. Supposed to be uh, Jack Daniels. And this is the cheese section. Takeout food. Mozzarellas, ricotta. Yes, Pringles knockoff. All types of snacks that we stay away from. Oh, that looks like Cheetos. That's interesting. Al, remember Cheetos? This is the best time to come here. Everyone's home eating lunch. <laughs> All right, let's see this meat department here. What are we looking at here? Costata, ten bucks, nine nine ninety two. How many kilos? Not a kilo. It's a half, a little over half a pound. Let's look at these chickens. Six fifty six for one point four. Kilos. That's a pretty good price. The way they can keep their prices down, of course, 
like BJ's and other places is by keeping everything in the boxes. So we do have those places here as well. This refrigerated section you can find just about anything. And we're on a lookout for ravioli with some ricotta. Alfred A found it. Ravioli con ricotta. There you go. Ugh. 49 cents for hot dogs, the mini ones. 49 cents, Alfred. Actually, this is the Wurzel. A little bit more. All types of cold meats. Look, turkey, 145. All right, this yogurt, one euro, which is excellent price. I'm telling you guys, this store has some of the best prices. So here's my kefir. Cream cheese, as you guys know, Philadelphia cream cheese is all the craze here. I need some of that. We need some of this Philadelphia cream cheese imitation for sure. Oh, I love condozola. That's pretty good price too. This is the fish section, but I'd much rather get my fish from the actual fish mongols. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys, but I have to show you. Yes, they eat rabbit here. That's a conilio. And there's turkey meat, all types of meat. Chicken fingers. Huh? Let's see, sausage. The sausage is so good. It's with parsley, cheese, and tomato. 4.83 for about a pound. I don't understand why they don't set sausage like that in the United States. I don't know if I want to get a steak. You think I should? Why on earth would they? Would anyone buy something like this from a supermarket? But who knows? Ricotta, ricotta fresca. More cheese, more ravioli, and let's go look at the Easter stuff. All types of flavors. Pomodori pelati delizie dal sole, 250 grammi a 49 centesimi. Columba, of course, are shaped like doves. This is a typical sweet for Easter. Panettone is for Christmas. And there you go, ginormous eggs. This is also new product. You see them everywhere now in Sicily, the pancakes. And here's some other specialty products. Okay, so here are the rice and also some pasta. The pasta here is about one euro, one oh nine. Every other shop, they're like one thirty, one forty five, and this is still higher, by the way, than it was last year. Seventy five cents. That's pretty good. I don't think you can find pasta anywhere else for 75 cents. See, they try to copy all the American products. Here are the multi-bars. Yeah. Sort of like a trail mix type of a thing. Nutella and jams and teas. Earl Grey, 109. Soy milk, 109. And here's stuff for the kitchen. Trash bags. We've got a whole section here of stuff. Let's just call it stuff. For the kitchen, for the living room, for, ooh, air fryer. That's the first time I've seen that here. Pillows. Here's a microwave. Let's see. A few times we've come here and lucked out with frozen lobster. I don't see it, honey.
mustard, mayo, and then pizza, frozen pizza. Here's the health section, like everywhere else, trying to push vitamins and all types of things, but really we like to get our stuff at the pharmacy where it's more trustable, shall we say. And here's one of my favorite sections, <laughs> a chocolate. Oh, I gotta show you guys this. There's a chocolate here that's like, uh, what are these called in the United States? We have these with the, with the coconut. Mars bar, and then they have Mounds bar, and then what is this? This would be like chocolate and caramel, like a Snickers. They're Snick. Oh, here's the Snickers, chocolate ala chidi. I love white chocolate and that actually looks pretty good, but I'm sure it's not great buying from this store and as always they try to get you right at the checkout with some extra stuff and this is what we got a mix of everything now I did say in the video that we do prefer getting our fruits and vegetables at some of those small farmer's market organic places that we've taken you many times. The breads generally at a pastry shops are better, uh, but that supermarket is pretty good for some everyday items, including stuff for the house. You know the jingle that you hear is their national jingle. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. It's contagious. I love it. <laughs> That's how you, Euro it's Eurospin, it? it's a national brand. It's, I really like going there myself. Uh, it's Plenty a good, of it's, parking, it's, good. it's a good oh. place, but there are other places that we've uh, taken you. Now, I'm curious Many to others. know, I'm curious to know how the prices are compared to these in your neck of the woods. And I got to tell you that some of the prices you saw are far less even in, from other supermarkets here. So it's a great shop. The people are as friendly as can be, and that's it. They have their own brand of cleaning supplies under their own their own trademark brands, which is substantially cheaper. And it's, it, to me, it's the same stuff. I mean, honestly, right? Don't All right. Think so? Now right. let's go get some coffee at one of our coffee places that we frequent. This is the place we come for coffee, and they're doing all these renovations and additions and getting ready for Easter. Let's take a look. They've got quite the collection here of booze. And over here, they're extending the place. Giorno. Ciao. There he is, Fabiano, always at work. All right, he's making us a macchiato, buongiorno. buongiorno. And I'm having a macchiato, also just having a americano. Doppio con ghiaccio, giusto? Doppio con ghiaccio, si, sí, espresso doppio. Alfred likes his iced coffee. There's an expert at work. He's gonna make my macchiato. Poco latte, per favore. Love the cup. So Alfred gets a double espresso with some ice. Macchiato is an espresso with a dab of milk. So you get the shot of espresso, but it, a little bit of milk, foamy milk, takes the bitterness away a little bit. Yeah, Let me tell you. Una porta cena and ask Trey for Alfred. This place on weekends, great place to come and get a aperitivo, a drink, and sit outside and then they also do this type of lunch breakfast food. Siamo perfetto. And then I usually get an aqua frizzante with lemon and anche aqua limone come solido like usual. We love to come here and sit outside when it's nice. Look at how beautiful it's set up. The plants humongous plant over here 
and there's my Alfredo Verduchau. Now that's what I call great Which service. You. Grazie. Yeah, Alfred likes his iced coffee. See this napkin holder? You think there's going to be something sturdy napkin? No, these are the napkins that you'll find all over Sicily and they do nothing. Nothing. Look how thin they are. I don't know. Why haven't they figured that out, Al? Why did they give these napkins? Because it's all recycled paper. <laughs> Sometimes it's reused paper, too, Esther. What do you want me to tell you? See these beautiful flowers? They're going to be spread all over this bar. There's Fabiano. And so this is what people do after work. They come here, have a coffee, have a drink, a little something to eat. And then, I don't know if you guys remember, this is where Fabiano had all the Christmas baskets things. And over here they have the bubble tea and so it's a great little spot. There are all the workers there. Then you walk out here. There's a pizzeria over there. There's another pizzeria over there. And then there is the Four Corners. That's the place that I've taken you guys many times, fruit and vegetable place. And then over here, on Sundays, they have all types of vendors as well. So there you go, a little bit of a peek into our day. You know, uh, Palm Sunday is right around the corner and so is Easter. But, you know, Palm Sunday is kind of underrated in my view. Uh, but it reminds me of three things. The first thing it reminds me of is my mom who used to send me and my brother Tommy to Max Men's Store in Lawrence to buy our annual Easter outfits. And she always used to pick out the most ugliest sport jackets or suits that you ever can think of. So when I was 15, finally I begged her. I said, Ma, please, please, please let me go. She goes, okay, take your brother, to go, get, go get something good. And she gave me like a, you know, a little warning. So that was the year that the Beatles came out. The Beatles had the, the sport jackets didn't have any collars. So I thought it was really cool. I bought a beautiful camel haired collarless jacket for me and also for my brother with matching ties. And I brought him home and we were gonna surprise my mom. We got all dressed up and then she almost strangled us. So that's the first thing I remember about Palm Sunday. The second thing I remember about Palm Sunday, believe it or not, are silver dollars solid silver dollars because my uncles god rest his souls every one of them used to give us the kids solid silver silver dollars for palm sunday i never saw one of them they kind of went into the atmosphere that's what i remember about palm sunday and what's number three number three is of course the food that we ate my mom would make lamb my mom was never a good lamb maker and uh, she proved it every single solitary Palm Sunday. Could never make lamb properly, but we ate it anyways with petite peas, potatoes, like your mom used to make. Your mom makes a good one. My mom just didn't have, that wasn't her go-to dish. But we had lamb anyways. Those are the three things. And finally, the last thing. That's four. Was my grandfather making the crucifixes out of the palms. Ooh, that's my beautiful. My grandfather, Alfio, God rest his soul, made the most beautiful crucifixes and he used to give one each to the kids me my brother and my sister and we had we had palms and that's how i learned to make them watching him that's something i look palm forward sunday. to palm sunday going down to actually are all over the place where they make the handmade palms into beautiful creations yep. i just came from pilates and we were talking about easter and what we're going to do for easter and that made me think about one Easter when we were living in Brazil, believe it or not, I was part of Girl and Boy Scouts, Hungarian Girl and Boy Scouts. This was in Sao Paulo when we lived there. And one of the things that Hungarians do that is very typical is you paint Easter eggs into these beautiful Hungarian decorations. It's a very traditional thing. And there's also a tradition that the girls paint the eggs and then you give it to a boy and the boy runs after you and tries to spray you with a perfume. So listen to what happens. 
this guy was running after me and I would have no boy catch me. No way was a boy going to catch Esther Vida. And so you know what I did? I started climbing up a tree. And the tree had a nail sticking out and it went right into my leg. And to this day, let me show you. I still have the scar. That's the scar that I got when I was a little girl in Brazil because I wouldn't get a let a boy catch me. But boy, I do remember my eggs were pretty. So that's my Easter memory. No. Happy With, Easter, Esther. And one of my favorite things to do. That should say, have been a good Friday memory. <laughs> Happy Easter, Esther. But Easter to me is one of the most wonderful periods because I, you know, am Esther Bunny. My mom calls me her little bunny. Not just because I love my vegetables, but Easter really is one of my favorites. I love the Easter eggs. I love the jelly beans and all of that. And it's the start of spring, which is the best. I want to talk to you guys about the adventures of Chechi, the Sicilian chickpea as she embarks on an adventure of all of Sicily. It is beautifully illustrated children's book and this is one of the good ways perhaps if you have a child or a grandchild for them to learn a little bit about Sicily. Look at the melons on over there. Uh, we put a link to this book in our Amazon shop. Full disclosure, we make very small commission like pennies, but it is a place that we uh, congregated some things, some Sicilian Italian products that we think are great. So it's a one-stop shopping for all things Sicilian, especially on Amazon. You know, I find that when, as you're reading that book, <clears throat> if you have a nice glass of wine <laughs> from winesfromitaly.com, pour yourself a nice glass of wine, <laughs> Those chickpeas in that book, they really started taking on a life of their own. <laughs> free shipping <laughs> if you buy... Winesfromitaly.com uh, Wines for free shipping if you buy products over $150. Put in the promo code you, me, and Sicily. Thank you, Chell Daniel, for this hat. Beautiful hat. Uh, I wear her. it all the time. I'm really excited for a touring season to start. We've got a good season coming up. May, June seem to be very busy. Also September, uh, October, wait, and parts of August as well. But we do have some availability June 26th to July 6th on our East Coast tour of Sicily. Of course, we had all the great spots. And we get to have 4th of July in Sicilia. The other ones are, are filling up. We put together this one originally to be a, teacher, a teacher's tour. So now we put it together. Let's find some teachers. To, or anyone. Or anybody. But the, at that time of the year, the end of June, beginning of July, it's swimming. You could swim. Uh, great places. Uh, the residence where we stay has a spectacular pool. So come the on. The beach is right down the road. Are you to put so, a link in there? Of course. Right, www.youmeetandsicily.com. Well, so did you enjoy this video? Did you like a little shopping spree? Should we take you along some other shopping sprees? Let us know. Uh, we're really looking forward to spending the Easter holiday here. And of course, we'll have highlights from Good Friday, Easter, and so forth in the coming weeks. Uh, but for now, thank you for spending this little time with us. We love you. We appreciate all you do for us. The Sicilian Project appreciates all you do for it. God bless you. And as my grandfather Alfio would say, Sabinadi. Let me give you a quick view. Ciao. Look, remember the flyers down there? Look how beautiful it is now. Ciao.